Rock. First division for a purse of $19,977, sponsored by the Horsemen and Fair World. And these are the horses. Number one, Big Bad Buford. Jack Cummings of Willowick, Ohio. Don McCurgan, the driver. Number two, he's a laser. J.B. Glass, J. Langfelder, and Glass Equine. Kentucky and Georgia, Jeff Fout, the driver. Number three, High Nooner. Ed Mullinex of Amherst, Ohio, with Ray Paver, Jr. Number four, Overpass. Flowing Mineral Farm, Beach City, Ohio, with Charlie Myrick. The five, two days, bad news. Joan Day of North Lima, Ohio, Bill Irvine driving. The six is Journey's Over. Larry Willard of Petersburg, Michigan, Terry Morgan drives. And number seven is Great Dane. Arthur Erford of Hamler, Ohio. Dave Hall in the sulky. Ohio Breeders Championship, three-year-old coat and gelding trotters. Moving up and moving in behind the Great Coon starting gate on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Trotting. He's the laser going right out for the lead. Two days bad news up on the outside. High Nooner gets away in third. Overpass on the outside. Fourth big bad Buford fifth. Journey's over six. Making a break but not trotting. Great day. Down the back side of the first quarter mark. Off stride High Nooner. Go on to the first quarter mark. He's a laser with the lead. Big bad Buford moves up second. Two days bad news. Racing third. Opening panel 30 and three fifths. Here the turn back. Trotting on the outside. Neil third. It's high nooner, but he's high. Racing fifth. Journey's over. Racing set. Great day. Running the field as they race around the turn at the three eighths mark. It's over pass. Here the lane first time coming to the half. Jeff Fallon, he's a laser on top. Big Ben Buford is second. Two days bad news. Third at the half. One minute and four fifths. Here the turn on the move. Great day. Now fourth moving up. Over pass between horses. Back on the outside. High noon and following another break. Over down the back side of the three quarter mark. He's a laser by two and a half. Big Bad Buford is second. Great Dane, third on the outside. Two days bad news, fourth. Three quarters, 130 and three. Third quarter, 29 and four. He had the turn going to the seven eight. He's a laser, has a lead by three. Big Bad Buford starting to inch up for Don McCurgan. Eighth of a mile to trot. He's a laser leader. Big bad Buford on the outside. Two days bad news. Third. Coming to the line. It's all. He's a laser. Big bad Buford second. Two days bad news was third. Joys very much here at Delaware, Ohio. The two. He's a laser. J.B. Glass, J. Langfelder, Glass Equine of Kentucky and Georgia. Danny Collins drinks. Jeff Fowd gets his third this week at Delaware. Three-year-old Gallon Barnbro Laser of How Miraculous. Home a winner. Two minutes. Two fifths. For Jeff Fowd. Final half, 59 and three. Final quarter, 29 and four. Eighth win and 14. For he's a laser. Caretaker for Doesn't get a whole lot easier than that for Jeff Fout driving number two. He's a laser, went to the front, never saw any pressure, uh, was able to rate his cold along, kept him trotting throughout, and that's good enough to take the first division of the Ohio Breeders' Championship today here at Delaware. Three-year-old Colt and Gelding Trot, and uh, he's a laser, one of the better horses in Ohio among the three-year-old trotters. Actually may have won the Sire Stakes if he would have minded his manners. He was on top.
Okay, Sam. Well, we're going to get a lot of info now because I caught up with the driver, Jeff Bout of. He's a laser, and I just noticed the bike is off. The trainer is walking back behind him. What could you tell me about this cult? Well, that, the horse dances to a little different tune than most of us, so uh, I like to get off of him as soon as possible. He's, he's a fast horse, obviously. He's been the dominant three-year-old trotter this year, and uh, uh, he's been perfect throughout the sire stakes and the stakes programs up until the final last week where uh, he made a break, and he hasn't made a break all year. I guess that proves even they're only human. Even, well, human, let's try equine yeah. anyways. But, uh, Jeff, uh, tell me about that break. Did, did he just, like, do it? Was there a reason for it? He just made a mistake. He had the lead and uh, comfortable fractions for a horse that can go like he can. And uh, he just took, uh, like, two missteps. And, and being a horse that's always on the trot, I think the two missteps, like he didn't know how to react to it. He never was a horse that you have to help or, or he had to learn to help himself during the race. And it just like threw him out of his game and he just like made a break. And uh, he's never made a break before that and probably won't make another and after that. It just, uh, he's not a horse that used to make some mistakes. So he didn't know what to do for himself. He didn't know how to help himself and I couldn't help him. And uh, he d unfortunately that was for the biggest race of the year for us. Uh, but he made a, you know, a little comeback today and uh, you know, kind of saved face just a bit. He certainly did. You had to be happy with his performance. Tell me what happened early in the race or early before the race started when the marshal had to come and give you an assist. Well, that goes back to his independent thinking. Uh, for some reason, he saw that big tent over there, what they use for the jug and jugette. I guess he thought that was a good place to hang out. He wanted to jump over the fence and go in there. And, uh, you know, I don't care as long as I don't have to go with him, but I had to go with him. With it. So uh, he, he reared up and dumped me out on my butt, and uh, then he just stood there and laughed at me. So that, Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I, my, my butt's kind of calloused up nowadays. <laughs> well, congratulations winning with He's a Laser. Do you know where he's going from here? Uh, I think they're going to go to Lexington with him, and then, that'll, then they'll probably pull the plug on him for the year. Are you going with him? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take some pillows along. Bring a pillow, butt, yeah. exactly. exactly. Well, congratulations, Jeff right. Fout, and all the connections of He's a Laser. Guys, how'd you like that story? I'd say Jeff Fout is kind of a breath of fresh air.